Welcome back to Harrelson Trumpets. I'm Jason. Today I have an instrument that came back to me on trade, and I have not seen this in many years. This is a Harrelson HT4. We used to have a line called the HT series, and it was HT3, HT4, HT5. Obviously, HT5 was the highest of the three in terms of efficiency and playability and features. So the HT4 was right in the middle. And uh, this is a very nice instrument that we had produced uh, really to compete with Bach and Yamaha. It was something that was a step up from a Bach and a Yamaha at a very fair price. Now, this one, let's see, was made in 2010. And uh, it is finished in raw brass, as you can see. Uh, so it has tarnished. It has a patch on the second slide. Uh, because of that, I'm including a brand new second slide. So you get a new second slide for free. You don't have to worry about that patch. Uh, it's got the half inch bottom caps, recessed top caps, the solid brass finger buttons. It does not have the hubs, the high efficiency valve stems, but you can add those on. And uh, other than that, there's only one thing that's really, uh, I guess, not perfect on this horn, and that is the bell. So the bell has this strange crease on it, and it almost looks like someone had pushed in a Harman mute too hard, like again and again and again, because they created this perfectly symmetrical ring on the bell. See that? And it goes all the way around. It doesn't look like any kind of a dent or anything. It's just been pressed out. So that is what the instrument looks like. And uh, it really is in great overall shape. I just got it in. I have not played it yet. So we're gonna try it out uh, here in just a second. Let me get my mouthpiece. We'll start with the Spectre Tone Blue. <laughs> try the spectra tone yellow see if it lights up the blue really made it big and warm <laughs> oh yeah it's definitely brightened up now this is built with what is now known as our h1 lead pipe and the number one bell uh, let me see oh no it's not this was a special version so lead pipe four bell three so this has actually a bigger lead pipe than you would normally have on the H series, or the HT series. And um, it has a bigger bell as well. So the number three bell, which warms it up, but it still is starting to brighten up with this mouthpiece. Yeah, on the high C, it really does ring. It's really beautiful. It's not as piercing as sizzling as if it were a number one bell. Wow, so it is a powerhouse. It's also one of our 12 days of Harrelson uh, November to remember deals. So in other words, this trumpet is going to be released on our website sometime this week and uh, it's gonna be an amazing deal for someone who wants a very nice, gently used Harrelson trumpet with this cool <laughs> looking ring around the bell, which apparently doesn't affect anything because it plays perfectly fine. So that is the HT4 from 2010. I hope you enjoy it. Remember, when you purchase one of our instruments from us, then you have up to five years to trade it in for full value towards a brand new custom build. So let's say you bought this today, and in a few years you decided you want to move up to a custom summit trumpet or a Muse. You know, you want to get all the technology, all the bells and whistles, and really take your performance as high as possible, you could trade this in and get full value. Uh, the other thing I wanna say is we have had a steady stream of customers flying in from out of state and out of country this month and last month. We really love to host you guys here in Denver, Colorado. 
You can see our whole showroom. You can test all the instruments. I recommend you visit as soon as you can if you have the possible uh, free time to come out here. Um, I will literally be here. This is Thanksgiving week. I'll be here Friday and Saturday. So if you want to come by, you can. Obviously Thanksgiving, I'm off. Uh, but you do want to come here and visit and try the instruments before they're all sold because all of these instruments will be sold in the next two to three weeks. So I want to thank you and I'll see you next time.